Hello everyone, it's another beautiful blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. And if God really, really, really being good to you right now today, give him some thanks right now. Give him some praise right now. Give him some glory right now. Has God really been faithful to you? I know he has because he's always faithful. He's not just faithful for one day or for one minute or, one, or, for, one, or for one second. Jesus is faithful every single day every single minute, every single hour. He's always faithful to every last one of us. Even when we're not faithful to him, he is always, always faithful to us. That's why it's so important to always lift his name up high. That's why it's always important to glorify him and to magnify his holy name for who he is and what he has done in your life right now. Look how far he bought you. Just think about look where you was at a, a month ago or a year ago. You didn't know how you was going to get out of that situation. You didn't know how you was going to make it. But somehow, somewhere, whoo, our Heavenly Father God brought you out of that situation. And look where you're at right now. Look where you're at right now. How you think you got out of it? Jesus. It was only Jesus, y'all. That's why I love him so much. That's why I love praising him so much. That's why I love glorifying, lifting his name up so much for what he has done in my life. That's why I'm so in love with Jesus. That's why I always glorify him. Not because I want something. Not because I'm going through something. Because I am in love with Jesus. That's why I praise him. That's why I glorify him. That's why I lift his name up high. Because I am in love with Jesus. And if you're in love with Jesus like I am, always lift his name up high. Always praise him. And always, and always glorify his holy name. Amen. Amen. Today's text is coming from Isaiah chapter 43, verse 4. In today's lesson, somebody need to hear this right now. You can't not make people to like you or to love you. If they can't like you for who you are and they can't love you for who you are, let them leave. But it's one person. There's one person going to like you for who you are. That's one person who's going to love you for who you are. And if you want to know who that person is, this message is for you to right now today. This lesson is for you today. Stop letting people walk all over you. Stop letting people run over you. Quit trying to make everybody to like you and to love you. If they can't like you for who you are and love you for who you are, you need to let them leave right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And before we get started, we all like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we just can't thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful blessed day today. We can't thank you enough for our health today, our life today. We can't thank you enough because if there's nobody in this world who can love us or like us for who we are, we know that you can. And for that reason right there, Jesus, we just can't thank you enough. We just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy. We just can't thank you enough because you will never leave us or forsake us. We just can't thank you enough for the gift that you endowed in every last one of your children. We just can't thank you enough, Jesus. For that reason right there, we're always going to lift your name up high. We're always going to praise you. We're always going to glorify you. And we always, we always going to let you know that we can't thank you enough, Jesus. But we can't thank you enough. We can't thank you enough for everything that you've done for us. We just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I said, we just can't thank you enough, Jesus. We just can't thank you enough. We love you, Jesus. I said, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. And we just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please turn your Bibles to Isaiah 43. And we're going to read verse 4. That's Isaiah chapter 43. And we're going to read from verse 4. And if you have your Bibles open, and ready to receive this word today. Shout out, amen. Amen, let's begin. Since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, I will give men in exchange for you and people in exchange for, you, for your life. Mm. Since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, because I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but I know this message is clear for somebody right now. Somebody is expecting too many people to like them and to love them. And by you doing that, you find yourself getting taken advantage of all the time. Even people, when you give your heart to them, they crush your heart. And you wonder why there's something wrong with you. It's not wrong with you. Or you know that you're a cool, nice person. And you wonder why people don't like you for who you are. Or why people don't like you. Or why people don't want to hang around you. My brothers, my sisters. You can't expect everybody to like you. You can't expect everybody to love you. If they can't like you for who you are, and they can't love you for who you are, right now, you need to let them leave right now. Some of y'all expecting y'all boyfriends and girlfriends to like you fully and to love you. But you always find yourself on the back end of the fence. You always find yourself in turmoil. You always find yourself hurting at the end of the day because you put so much forth effort into the relationship and they not. Now you right there, right now at home somewhere crying, bawling your, your your eyes out. Wonder why they can't. Why, wonder why they don't like you. Wonder why they don't love you. You wonder why what, did you do anything wrong? My brother says you didn't do anything wrong. You just can't make that person like you. You just can't make that person to love you. Right now you need to let that person leave from your life. Right now, some of y'all going through that with your, with a family member right now. And you're expecting, you're expecting your family members to like you. You are expecting to your family members to love you because y'all have the same DNA, because y'all share the same last name. You can't make them like you. You can't make them to love you. For right now, you need to let them leave too as well. Some of y'all going through the same thing at your job. You're expecting your co-workers to like you. Hmm. Because you're a good worker, you got a good attitude. Some of y'all expecting your co-workers to even love you and to even respect you. You cannot expect that. Right now, you need to just pray for them. Not tell you to let them leave, but you got to worry about There's only one person who's going to love you for you. There's only one person who's going to like you for you because he said in his sight, you are precious and honor to him and his name is Jesus. Right now, that's the only person who's going to like you for you. That's the only person who's going to love you for you is Jesus. Your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your family members, your husband, your wife, and sometime going to be out in some, even sometime your children is not going to like you or love you for you. I'm just being real about it. But that's only one person who's going to like you for you. That's only one person who's going to love you for you. And this answer always going to be the same. I like you. I love you. Your honor and precious in my sight. No matter what you do, Jesus still look at you. Don't do no wrong to him. He's still going to like you. Even when you mess up. He's still going to like, love you. Even when you stray away. He's still going to like you. He's still going to love you. He'll never stop life. He'll never stop liking you. He'll never stop loving you. But in the midst, we go through that through people that we know, right? We go through that for some people we thought was our friends. We go through that when we thought some people was our family members. We go through that even when we give our heart to the one we expect to love us the most. As our boyfriends and girlfriends and our husband and wife. We expect that. Even sometimes we expect that out of our older children right now. Now don't we, y'all? Keep it real and be honest with yourself. We expect that. And by every time we're expecting that, we always find ourselves hurt. We always find ourselves on the back back end of the turmoil. We always find ourselves hurt all the time, bawling our eyes out, crying. What did I do? Do I do anything wrong? No, you didn't do anything wrong. You just can't expect people to like you. You just can't expect people to love you. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. It don't matter who it is in this world. If nobody likes Minister LT, I love Minister LT. I know that's gonna be only one person who's gonna like me for me and love love me for me, who's gonna honor me and say that I'm preaching in sight, even though I know I'm not perfect because nobody in this world is perfect. In his name of Jesus. That's all that matters to me. That one person I know always gonna treat me the same. That one person who always gonna like me the same. That one person who always gonna love me the same. And his name is Jesus, y'all. And right now, y'all need to get that right now. You said right in your heart. 
You don't need but that one person to like you. You don't need but that one person to love you. And his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. And I don't know who I'm talking to right now. But I'm talking to somebody right now. He says, since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, he's, he's really putting a statement right there to somebody right now. He said, I love you, and I like you. He said, you are precious and honored in his sight. No matter what your family members think, no matter what that so-called friend think, no matter what your boyfriend or girlfriend, your husband or your wife think, Jesus is saying right now, you are precious and honored in my sight. And he loves you. And he likes you for you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Get that right there stuck in your mindset. Get that right there stuck in your heart. He said you are precious and honored in his sight. And this sight is better than everybody's sight because he is, he is the only person on this world is perfect. And he said that he loved you. And he liked you for you. <clears throat> That's a statement for somebody right now today. I know it's for one of my brothers right now. I know it's for one of my sisters right now. And I know this message is meant for somebody right now today. Let's just focus on that right now, my brothers and my sisters. Everybody's not going to like you. And everybody is not going to love you. If they can't like you for you. And they can't love you for you. You need to let them leave right now. Because there's only one person. Who said that you're honored. And precious in his sight. There's only one person. That says they love you. And they like you for you. And his name is Jesus. And his name is Jesus. So if nobody else can't like you for you. And love you for you. Let them leave. Let them leave right now. Don't even focus on that situation anymore. All you need is that one person. And he always going to like you for you. And he always going to love you for you. In his name is Jesus. Amen. Amen. And if you received this word today, and if this message is meant for you today, let's give him thanks right now today. Let's give him praise right now today. Let's give him glory right now today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because we serve an awesome and amazing and the love and faith of God. That's why he loves us so much, y'all. Because we are precious and honored in his sight. That's why he loves us so much. Because he knows everybody's not going to like us. He knows everybody's not going to love us. And even when we start professing his name and claiming his name, right then and there, you know a lot of people ain't going to like you. And you know a lot of people ain't going to love you because you're speaking the name Jesus. He said, I'm going to like you. He said, I'm going to love you. He said, no matter what, you stay precious and honored in my sight. That's why I'm in love with Jesus. I'm going through that right now with some so-called friends and so-called family members. But it's okay. It's okay. Because that's one person who's going to love Minister LT for me. Who's going to like Minister LT for me. In his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. That's why I'm so in love with him. Because he never changes. Amen. Amen. And before I close, I was like the end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life, to take over, to guide me, direct me, use me, so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, by y'all praying that simple little prayer, that God is already working everything God in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. This minister LT, always keep God first place in your life, y'all. Always trust him, no matter what the situation looks like. Always trust him. In Jesus' name, amen. Stay blessed.